We're talking actors. We're talking activists. We're talking time cops. Welcome, everybody, to How Did This Get Made's Matinee Monday. It is Time Cop Day. That's right. We're going all the way back to 2017 to pull an old How Did This Get Made episode out of the vault. It's John claude Van Damme as a cop who travels through time to save the day. But he really doesn't do that at all. Anyway, Nick Kroll joins us, and we get into a lot of big questions. Yes, this movie is uh, kind of well done, but it makes no sense. And the biggest thing that we get to the bottom of is my accent. That's right. My Long Island accent forever has made me think that Ron Silver was actually named Ron Silva. That's right. It was a correction that was made to me midway through the show, and I am forever embarrassed. It also uh, launched the birth of this amazing hat. That's right. That's our actor-activist hat, which you can get at Pod Swag. You can see the link right down there. Um, this is a, a really, really fun episode. I love doing shows in Austin, and this was a very, very fun night. Take a listen to a little clip. This movie, like we all agree, it's not a bad. It's not a bad movie. I kind of enjoyed it. It's uh, it's a good movie, and it's also a very well done movie. Yes, like they yeah. spent a lot of money on this. It is shot very well. Like for a what would normally be where I would put these movies into the categories of the Street Fighters and the Kumite. Um, Thank you, Bloodsport. Bloodsport. The other JCVD movies, like, low production values. This movie feels enormous. Here's well, the thing. Like, I, I don't remember how many JCVD movies I've seen. <laughs> like, four? Conservatively, what do you think? Five? Four or five? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I forget all the movies. But... <laughs> I June didn't like, even remember we were doing a podcast. June, <laughs> could you name three to, movies that we've ever... In, no, but I don't have space in my brain for all of these horrible movies. But I do feel like JCVD is doing some of the best work I've seen him do in this motion picture. I agree. <laughs> I, I agree. I really do. Yes. You'll get I, no I argument here. But I, imagine, if you will, yes. this exact movie... All the same players. Ron Silver fucking Amazing. crushing it. Just Amazing. absolutely fucking magic, you know? Uh, Bruce McGill just crushing. Uh, yep. it, like, all these great characters. Now, imagine if instead of JCVD, it's Kurt Russell. That becomes a great movie. That's a That's fucking a movie. rad movie, right? One could argue that JCVD stole Kurt Russell's hair for yeah. the... <laughs> Here's well, what's weird about his hair. Okay, yeah. let's get and right I guess into we're it. Getting right in. we're, let's get straight to hair. But as time moves forward, his hair goes backward in time. Yeah. It's very strange. Yeah. Well, his he, hair regresses. Yes. Well, he grows, I think, what you would call a sympathy mullet. Uh, or I think a grief mullet. I think it's a grief mullet. A grief mullet, <laughs> yeah. He's like, he wants women to know I'm not ready yet. Yeah. I'm not I'm ready not for this. I'm not there yet. I'm so, I, like, like an animal that ha grows an appendage to dissuade right. a, yes. a, a, a lover. Uh, that's what he's done to to force women I'm, to be like. Whoa. I'm so sad about the passing of my wife. I'm gonna blow dry my hair for conservatively yeah. 45 minutes every morning. <laughs> yeah. Um, I do think that the the person who makes this movie is Ron Silva. I mean... Actor-activist Ron Silver. Yeah. <laughs> All day, every day, Ron Silver. Yeah, he... Actor-activist actor yeah. Ron Silver. So <laughs> he... When you... He's, he's since passed away. Yes, he, has. he did. Um, but when you would... By the end of his life, he was very political yes. and a, a pretty serious Republican. And whenever you see his Chiron, it always said actor-activist Ron Silver. And when I was... Like, about five, ten years ago, I was with a group of people for a weekend, and we went into his Wikipedia <laughs> and changed... Changed it to actor activist Ron Silver. <laughs> <laughs> you little scamp. I, you know. Are you so the person that keeps changing my name on Wikipedia to Jeffrey Character Wheaties? <laughs> <laughs> you little scamp. That is actually uh, <laughs> that is Stellan Skarsgård who's getting oh, back Stella for us. We were getting back for us for changing his name for Stellan Skateboard. I, I <laughs> on Wikipedia. Went, were you with? <laughs> When we were then in an elevator with Stellan Skarsgård, no. and I was like, "Do I tell him?" No way, no sir. Do I tell him that it's not one bit. That, that we, I believe, are the reason that his Wikipedia was locked. Yeah, because so many people kept changing his name to Stellar Skateboard. 
Wikipedia was like, stop fucking around. Like, we get it. You nerds love podcasts, but cut it out. Um, uh, so Ron Silva is great. Um, I would Mia say Sarah, great. I, I feel like I never knew. Great. I didn't her. know that she was in anything besides Ferris Bueller. When I saw her, I was like, oh, no. whoa, she's so, yeah. She was fucking great. Everybody, everybody's yeah. a fucking monster in this And I movie. love that this is a time when women are very sexy and like very big brown plaid blazers. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. they're very With sexy like in With like a them. turtleneck underneath yeah. it. Yeah. And you're like, fuck, I'm so hard for this right now. <laughs> Actor activist Appreciate Ron Silver, that. I think he, <laughs> he really revolutionized, he was at the forefront of men shaving a beard to a point to create the concept of a jaw and yeah. chin. Right. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, I actually will say that I loved how 1994, just to put a fine point on this, the movie was shot in 94, so like, we'll do a time travel movie where they travel to 1994. Yeah. So <laughs> we'll save all that money on pesky time travel. Yeah. And when they're in 2004, we'll keep them in a dark building. Oh, but uh, how do we tell them about, how do we signal that it's the future? Glue a bunch of, sh a bunch of shit to the outside of cars. Yeah. Uh, the, that'll, that'll be everything. And Just do a bunch of, like, uh, plastic shit to the outside of regular cars. They only had two cars that they could do that to. And th whenever you saw the cars, they were by themselves on the road. It was like, no yeah. other car in sight. <laughs> um, but Ron... Uh, but actor yeah, activist. Actor activist. <laughs> I love the way that... Uh, 1994, Ron Silva played himself like, oh, I'm a real wimp and a nerd. And then oh. 2004 is like, shut up, you fucking yeah. idiot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was, uh, he was doing Can Fastbender, I E Fastbender before that was popular. Oh, yeah. 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 I wonder I though, go ahead. Go, ahead. go ahead. No, go ahead. I was going to say wow. that, so um, rude. you know what? I don't even want to do the fucking you know what? podcast Fuck anymore. Guys. Ladies and gentlemen, Jean Claude Van Damme. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to say... No, this podcast is you my did, favorite of all the podcasts. You did say backstage... <laughs> you did say backstage, Nick, that you can do those splits. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can do the splits. <laughs> cool. Now, listen. Listen. I, you know, look. I don't like seeing a man do a split. <laughs> no. I don't like it. And I've said it before. Why again? Film, what was the reason? It's unnatural to me. That, that, that may be controversial, and I'm okay with it. What about watching Olympic gymnastics? I admire it, and I tip my hat to it. I'd rather not oh, see it again. That's right, because you, you. you only wear a hat when you watch the Olympics? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Your Olympic watching this, hat? Actually, in this film, when JCVD did a split yeah. to get out of a tricky situation, <laughs> there was a reason for that split. An earned split. It was an earned split, and I appreciated it. Well, let, let, let's take a look at the earned split right here. Uh, um, and by the way, by the way, volts, these buns are on Have fire. A nice day. <laughs> Boom! Look at Keep that split going for one more shot. Look at yeah. that! It's hot. That is hot. fucking badass. Yeah, dude. By that, I mean a great ass. <laughs> but I have to say, like, I do feel like this movie was a transition to Jean-Claude a little bit, because he's not, like, laying into the splits. He's not laying into oh, bare it's ass. it's about the acting. <laughs> no, are you kidding? The second scene of the movie is a sex scene that starts on his ass. Yeah. Start! I, I have to say, I felt like I saw inside his asshole yes. in that shot. Yeah. Did I? And I was into it. Yeah. I was into it. I, when that... When that scene started, I literally, I was alone in my room watching the movie. I went, oh, yeah. oh my. <laughs> it, I was watching it on a plane, and I was like, oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Well, the movie, the movie has, I guess I would, if I was to label one problem with it, it just does these hard cuts. Yeah. So it's like, yeah. here they are. They're, you know, they're being cute on the elevator. They're kind of saying, like, let's go spend the day inside. And it's like. We both have the afternoon off. Oh, Why don't gone. we go and practice some of those words you seem to like so much? Right? Boom. Oh, that's nice. Hard cut to... Exterior. Asshole. Boom! Like, what? Candles. Immediately. Candles. Candles. Midday candles? Don't need them. 
You are you are right, June. You are getting very close to to. Sorry, we should have told the children in the audience um, to avert this their This is um, not safe for work, guys. <laughs> We may not know how time travel works, but we do know that a grief mullet might be the best mullet. So listen to this full episode right now, wherever you get your podcast, just subscribe to How Did This Get Made for new episodes and classic episodes coming out of the vault nonstop. And if you like this, like these little recaps and little remembrances, uh, subscribe here to my YouTube channel. Uh, just like, subscribe, do all the things that we all do when we are online. And we're not going to bug you. I'm not sending out a million tweets or things. So subscribe, enjoy it. It helps us. Uh, and uh, tell your friends about the show. Bye for now.